Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're checking out Penn and Teller VR, F U, U, U and U. That's what it's called. Okay, I'm playing on the Oculus Quest. Controls, scroll, select, pause, press trigger for laser pointer and switch hands. Okay, I'm in a really cool theatre here. This looks really, really nice. Okay, press any button to begin. Accept. Hello. Hello. See that highlighted button on the screen? Yes. This button is your ticket to the backstage area we use to disguise all the tomfoolery. When you're ready, point one of your controllers at the button and press the trigger. We'll transport you backstage to continue our dastardly confab. See you soon. Okay, I've got a really cool laser pointer here, so let's dive in. Enough of the mumbo jumbo. Let's give you a taste of how you are going to practice a bit to pull off the swindle. Go ahead and select the highlighted button. Our bits fall into certain categories based off of how you want to bamboozle your chump. Go ahead and select the highlighted category to bring up a new series of bits. Okay. Presto changeo. Go ahead and select the highlighted bit. Once you've chosen the bit, here is where you can review the tutorial. You must do this if you haven't performed the bit before. You need to understand how to perform it, how to act, and any handy dandy everyday objects you might need to gather before you wreck an unsuspecting chump. Go ahead, select the highlighted button, okay. and we'll move this train along. Too easy, right? Since you've watched the video, we want to throw you into the mix to help you really sell that sweet, sweet payoff where your chump steps in shit. Okay, this might be a bit difficult. I'm playing this solo. So this is to give you an idea what to expect if you play with friends. Okay. This is virtual reality and anything is possible. Let's put you in a place you'd never want to be in real life. Let's put you inside Teller's mouth for your version of our version of the magic bullet. Maybe you've heard of it. The most dangerous act in show business. It's a classic of magic. In our version, Teller and I ostensibly pretend to fake catch totally real bullets in our for reals, no kidding teeth. We've done that absolutely real-looking but completely phony trick in our Vegas show for decades, and we're a little tired. So how would you like to take over? We'll sit back on our virtual butts while you do the bullet catching, and we'll let you use Teller's teeth. You can have any friend you want do the shooting. Hand them one of your controllers now. You'll experience everything in slow motion on our virtual Vegas stage until you get good enough for our real-time Vegas version. Watch carefully, and when the bullet is just the right distance from you, use your controller trigger to snap Teller's teeth safely around the bullet. Here we go. Ready, aim, fire! Okay, so I need to... 
catch that? How was that? My controllers are vibrating. Pull the trigger. Can I shoot it fire back? We'll catch another one. I've got a few broken teeth there. And that's a really cool effect with the uh, mouthpiece. Looks like you might have missed one or two, but we think you're ready to do something that nobody, not even Penn and Teller, have ever tried. The bullet catch with a shotgun. You ready? You better focus. It'll take lightning reflexes to catch all these pellets. Catch this. Oh, Christ, that fast. Okay, this is a really, really cool room. It looks really nice and sharp in the um, in the quest. Can I move? Can I walk? Guest book. Okay, a few buddy. I'm going to skip the setup. I'm going to check out the playlists. Hello again, it's Pendulet, my partner Teller. Since the whole point of this game is to bewilder an unsuspecting chump, we wanted to make it easy for you to do it over and over and over again. Playlists are like acts of a stage show where you choose specific bits and the order that they play out for your chump. To show you how all this stuff works, we'll create a new playlist together. A swindle composed of a few of Teller's and my favorite bits. Okay. Go ahead and select the highlighted button. Perfect. The highlighted area of the menu contains a list of all the bits. Let's go ahead and throw some of these bits into our playlist. Let's start with a uh, psychic app known as Mofo Nose. Select the button with your, your controller. But this time, there you go. Okay. Let's pick out a few more bits. Go ahead and add the delightful High Rise Grime Fighter. Wickedly wondrous. Now close out with a smashing good time by ka-ching! You can add as many bits as you like to a playlist. But I think this one is baked to perfection and ready to roll. So let's wrap this up, my friend. I'm going to disable your controls for a few seconds while I show you a few useful things. You can just follow along. The highlighted button allows you to customize the name. To save time, we'll go ahead and name this one for you. Now for the most important part of our little instruction. When you're ready to play one of your devious concoctions, you can select the highlighted button. You can then choose to exit the monkey room and go directly to the Penn and Teller stage to play it from start to finish. Here's the kicker. We've disguised the start the show button on the stage menu to play whatever playlist you have active. This way, your chump won't have a clue that you're trying to hoodwink them. Well, that's that. Now you're up to speed on creating playlists. Go hog wild! Use your creations to leave your chumps in a puddle of their own salty tears. Show no mercy. Go! Do it! Okay, so this application is all about tricking your friends. Let me head back to the playlist. One player. Okay, let me try this one player. So this is like a one player playlist. Okay, let me try this. Set playlist to active. So now we're going to the main menu to check out some of these playlists. Again, to click start the show. See what happens. Act one, you be Houdini.
You must agree to the terms and conditions. Good evening. We are Penn and Teller, and it is our pleasure to present to oh. you a little water torture chamber act called Houdini, named after our backstage Wi-Fi, which is named after the escapologist Harry Houdini. Watching cheating magicians pretend to do Houdini stunts is not a tribute. A real tribute would be to truly demonstrate how hard his stunts were by taking a random person who had no idea what they were doing and plop him or her into this claustrophobic box of nightmares. That's where the person behind us comes in. Me. They're getting ready now as I speak. First, binding the hands together. This is optional, but for the full experience, we recommend it. The straps of the controllers are perfect for this. So if his or her hands fit, they're putting one of the straps around both wrists. Handcuffs work wonders here, if they're around. And if any of you don't have handcuffs around your home, consider them a wise investment to make your life more exciting. Now that our volunteer is ready, Keys! In a few moments, this aquatic torture chamber of death will be filled to the top with water. To escape, you must break open each lock by finding the correct key. Place each key with its matching lock and turn the key to unlock it. Hold your breath and imagine you're drowning. Okay, this is really cool. It's uh, quite claustrophobic. Uh... I need to find all the keys before I drowned. Uh, where's a square one? Square, square. Oh, you've got this. Uh. Okay, I'm underwater now. Oh, there's a tough one. Circle. Where's circle? How are we doing? There's quite a lot of locks here. I'm going to drown, aren't I? Keep it up. Oh, dog, look at them go. Uh, I'm going to drown. Help. Okay, a few left. Great job. Restricting human aquarium with just the slightest hint of brain scramble. I consider that a win for us. Way to go, Teller. I did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Penn and Teller, and I am so thankful we avoided having yet another accident on stage. Please give a big round of applause to Teller, my partner, for being a true hero and coming through when it counts. A real lifesaver that Teller is, right? Oh, yeah. And to our wonderfully willing participant for surviving the bone-chilling act we like to call Houdini. Okay, it's really cool how the glass all steamed up. Act two, virtual pen and teller's cup and balls. Uh, several years ago, Tell and I did a series of documentaries. We traveled around the world seeing close-up magic in all different cultures, street magic. And uh, in every culture, they had a version of the same trick. Uh, uh, the trick was pretty much the same, but the props changed. In, uh, in China, they had these uh, metal cups handed down generation to generation. In India, they had these hand-carved wooden cups. And because we were representing the United States of America, we used plastic cups, and we used aluminum foil balls, thus having the totally disposable, totally American cups and balls. The way it goes is like this. Take the ball, place it in your hand, vanish it, and it appears underneath the cup. The second ball, place it in our hand, and vanish it. The way it's done all the way around the world. This is one teller came up, he did the ball, placed it in his hand, then shows it underneath the cup, yet it still appears underneath the cup. Now we're all set. Three balls on top to the center ball, it's in the center cup. Two side balls, put them away. They still regroup 
beat the center cup. Now these uh, three balls, I come over here. This is uh, juggling, giant ball beneath the center cup, one more on either side. And of course for our finish, it's an American baseball. Now, after we had done the uh, American version of the cups and balls a few times, we wanted to kind of zoom in and do a pen and teller version, which involves breaking a few rules of magic. Now, the first rule of magic is you never do the same trick twice. So we're going to. Second rule of magic is you never tell an audience how a trick is being done. We're going to tell you exactly how that trick is being done. The third rule of magic is you never let the audience see your secret preparation. They must not know what is hidden in which pocket. And the fourth rule of magic is unwritten, but I believe any magician in the world would agree with us in a second, that you never ever do the cups and balls with clear plastic cups. So here's the pen and teller version of the cups and balls. To the first ball, pretend to place in our hand, I already stuck it underneath the first cup. The second ball, simultaneously is written beneath the cup, put this in our hand and show it. To the third and final ball, put this in our hand, pretend to show it in the cup, put place it in the cup, then secretly secrete it and reveal it. Now we're all set for the second half, three cups all loaded, three balls on top. Center ball, put in the cup. Each of the side balls, read, put them away, we don't need them anymore. We have three duplicates in each of the cup. These balls from over here, this is not juggling. It's called misdirection. If I look over here, tells you the final ball under, one more on either side. And of course, for the finish, it's an American baseball. How are we doing, guys? I'm copying. Okay, Act 3, High Rise Ground Fighters. Okay, I've got a torch. I'm on a building. Oh. Mm. Mm. So I'm cleaning the glass. Mm. Mm. And I guess I need to try and find a key. There's the key. There's a rose as well. Okay, do I hit that? Okay, we're going up now. Okay, I think this is one of the experiences for height. To give you a sense of height. A uh, scary gorilla head. So this is a bit like face your fears, I guess. I do like the idea of um, cleaning the windows to peer inside the, the rooms. I need to focus on the balloon. Or the ball. I can hear something banging. Sounds like um, King Kong or Godzilla. Okay, let's go up another level. Some scary eyes there on the, on the picture. Scary eyes. Hello. I've got a feeling this is a horror one as well. So I've got a feeling this is going to make me jump. Mm. Pretty cool though. Found a mm -hmm. secret room here. Look, some cameras. And there's the um, cello room. Are these the rooms I've been looking at? Okay, 
Okay, that's smashed. Really nice sense of movement. I do feel like mm. I'm going up. Uh, oh, there's a room here with a, a bloody head. There's blood dripping from the ceiling. Okay, we'll focus on, focus on the glass bottle. Okay, there's a trap there. to the uh, blender type thing. Okay, this is getting really ominous now. Mm. Oh, look, look up! Uh, no. Okay, that's cool, I fell. That was really good, I enjoyed that one. Okay, up for Bean Pen Gillette. Okay, so I am Pam Pen. Chapter One. I'm inside his body now. Uh, what do I do? Okay, I'm just inside his body, I'm not doing anything. I can't move the um, iPad or anything. Pressing my buttons and nothing's happening. Use the menu to exit. Okay, I think that might be the end of the um, single player ones. Okay, press and hold to grip to select. Let me try the next act. I don't know what this one is. Next act. Let me see if there's any more of these single player. The finale. Finn. Oh, that was it. Okay, so you can select the bit that you want to try. So we did the um, Houdini one. We did the grind fighters, well, that was pretty cool. There is a spider one I want to try. So you've got all these different ones, look, you've got virtual hypnosis. Let me just uh, quickly try the spider one. Virtual reality is used primarily for entertainment. But preliminary psychological studies show that virtual reality may be useful in dealing with some phobias. By immersing the patient in his or her fears safely in VR, that safe zone can expand into the real world. The following is for healthcare professionals. For education purposes only, it should not be used on patients. It will demonstrate to you how simple and effective this new therapy can be. We hope you'll sign up for a free trial in your own practice. Let's imagine your patient has a debilitating fear of spiders. So, we create a safe fantasy environment where the patient can experience the fear while knowing there is no genuine danger. 
Please take the role of patient and try it for yourself. You're in a dark forest. Yes. You're holding two rolled up newspapers. Yes. Use them to swat the computer generated spiders as they fall out of these trees. Go ahead. Okay. Give it a try. Oh. Okay, these webs look amazing as well. This is so cool. And these spiders look quite realistic. Okay, swap them. I know somebody who would like this um, experience. His name is Mike. And he, he loves these types of um, games in the art. Okay. Okay, they're all around me now. I really like this set as well. It feels like I'm on a stage. Oh, crikey. Okay, they're getting a bit bigger now. It feels like I'm on a, like a theatre stage. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at this guy. Hello. Don't eat me. Okay, that was really cool. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, be sure to hit my little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!